Hello, this is Michael Kinsler, um, Qtel Wholesale Limited, Franchise Partners for Marley's Wholesale Part 4. How to enter a product or upload a product to your website. Now we were down to this stage at this, um, so we just ticked up. Do you want to show show the product on the home page? Yes. Now then we can have a quick overview of the product. So we'll just click on that and we can actually type in here a whole rake of, we can type in there what we want then. We could have a whole fool's cap page or we could just have um, wholesale, drop shipping, products or any of that description. So we'll just leave that. So then we can close that then. So these little buttons here open and close it. So now we go into here, we just open here and then we press on this little button here and that will open it back up again. So now we have it here. This will give us what we need to write down. So we could write a whole rig. We can add images here um, to the actual page. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, this particular moment, uh, what I do is then um, I'll show you how to actually just basically upload a product with product um, images and then this page here you can have product images inside your writing so say you have a thousand words in there you can actually put a product image in there and a hyperlink onto that so um, the person clicks on it and then goes to the particular page on which he or she wants to go to so basically we're just going to do a quick start off with so now if I just close down the we a wee bit there and what I've got in here now is my product images these ones are already taken with the camera these are sitting down at the factory a good size there would be 600 640 327 doesn't matter the size of it it's when the customer clicks on it this is what he's gonna see so the bigger that it is slightly not too much bigger than that you don't want to like over overkill the whole page so we just put that to one side anyway. Just put that out of the way. Now what I've got is I've actually got two screens here. Um, it's great to have two screens connected for uploading products, for looking at other different websites, for taking pictures. It's basically dead handy and most of your computers can do that. Um, just to let you know how to do that, you just right click on your home page, go into properties, boom. <coughs> and then go into settings and you should have a graphics card most computers nowadays have a graphics card already in and you just connect up a VGA cable and you just click on that plug and play monitors into there and it says extend my windows desktop onto this monitor so there you have the two monitors there's my other one so I can identify them and I just press OK apply OK and that's it done OK getting back to the job in hand now we have a full description in here. So products uh, uh, overview. So we have that in there as well. And we've got the quick overview there and we've got the product. So this could be a thousand, um this would be a thousand, it could be anything, it could be a hundred, anything on there, and we can actually I'll show you in the next stage. So now we want to browse for our images, primary image. This is to be the image the first going to show on your home page. So let's have a look at this one. So now we've got our images, we know which ones they are. So we just pick the top one. And that's already in there. So now we want to put other pictures in as well. So we go up to the top, take our secondary images. And then it's asking us for secondary images. Okay, for this pur purpose I'm not going to put my, uh, I'm not going to show it on the home page. So I'm just going to take that off there. Okay, so back up to our secondary images. Secondary images, your browse again. So it goes straight to this and just move that off to one side. Second one, browse. Third one, browse. And fourth one. And then you save the change. You can save the changes here and it will automatically save the changes. So we do that. Now, what your computer is actually doing right now is uploading those images to the server and the server will automatically store those for you so there we go so it's done so we manage the products so let's have a look we go into manage products that'll be the top one so now it's asking you product ID or product name 
and I've actually forgotten which one we've actually called it. So what I do is I bring up my home page. This is where I took the image from. So now I go into test. The product should, should be here. And there she is. There's the product now. We've just uploaded that product there now. See the way I have the two t test? I have the 199 and the sale price is 129. So we click to view. We can click on the image. There we have it now. So notice the way I have this set up here. So basically all the secondary images are down here. And then what you do is you overview all your product listings, everything you need in here. Okay. Add to cart when people want to buy it. And then if they want to buy a thousand of them, this is where they change it. Remember I was talking about from one to a thousand. So if I click on this and this is what the customer will see and this can be changed as well so that's basically what the customer can see and they can close the window down now you've hosted this yourself this product now is actually hosted on your server the image so now I'm not happy with that I want to add in more images I'll just move that to one side so I know which one it is now it's called um, TT test demo wholesale wholesale so tt test demo wholesale and then just push search now that what happens is now the admin side will actually search for it it's found it it's actually test one was the name of the product id is it available yes and the price of it we can delete it from here so basically that's how we can actually just quickly delete the product so let's open it up. So now I just I don't need to work on this part at all. I've already done everything here. If I want to change it to call a price, I can change just wipe them out and call a price. So now secondary images, I would just need to add more. So now you notice that these images are already loaded. So I want to browse for more. So one, two, three, four, so I know those one and the next one and that one there. Just double click on each one and it's fine. Now just load up the save changes. And what I'll do now is I'll bring in my web page. We have to wait for it to do. Yeah, that's it done now. So you will see the web page refresh. Now you will see that we have all our images in here. And you can have as many images as you want there. Preferably nine, ten images is plenty. And the person, they can click on that as well. And you see it comes up with an image. Okay. Now there's one thing I didn't show you here. And actually change how they view that. So we go back on that. So we look for products. Um, manage products. So automatically, when you've done a product, it automatically comes up in here. Okay, so we go into wholesale, we go and check it. And what you can do then is just go scroll down to the bottom, and you can actually change the image zooming here. So you can actually go into non zoom magnify. I just normally leave it at use global settings. It's quite good. The customers aren't really too bothered about it. And as long as you can see a, a good quality image, they're quite happy with that. Okay, then this is Michael Kinsler from QTEL Wholesale Limited. Um, the next video I'll be showing you is how to put in, in this stage here, is how to actually do more work in here and actually make a few clickable buttons and how it all works. Okay, thank you.